The winter's cold against my skin. The winter shows the states I'm in. I can tell by the look on your face. I can tell by the look on your face. I shall return. I wanted to be involved in music and play it since I was about 14. I just want, I want to make a career of it. It's something I want to do. I'm ready to go, lads. You ready? Right, tape's running. Go! The, ne the new thing is uh, an EP, a four-track EP that we're hoping one particular song is going to get airplay, which is called Return. It's just something you can show people. You can play it to them and it's like, it's, it's putting you on the next rung of the ladder from being one of the millions of bands. You're one of the less, so we've got a single out. Still on a minute, still on a minute. Uh, Mr. Drummer, just hold on a minute, please. You hit a bum note there. Uh, can we start again? From the top, go. In the mid 1970s, up until the mid 1970s, if you wanted to make, there were one or two exceptions, people like Bill Nelson, who actually made their own independent records, and these were just regarded as absolute freaks. I mean, you can't, you know, the idea of somebody actually getting themselves sorted out to make their own record was inconceivable, really. And, and when people like Bill did it, it was seen as quite a magical thing. But punk demystified that whole process. Bands realised that you didn't have to come down to London and put yourselves in the hands of some unscrupulous entrepreneur who was going to milk you white and then chuck you aside. And uh, that you didn't have to get signed up to one of the major record companies. Uh, that you could actually go and do it yourself, you know, and that you could get as few as 500 copies of it pressed and you could sell them over a period of time. And as I say, for a lot of people, that was all they wanted to do. You know, they had no aspirations beyond that, which is just dandy. If a band's to release its own record, it will need its recording costs, which can be anything up to £500, depending on how, you know, how fussy they are in the studio and what sort of sound they want. You know, it can cost them £10,000 to record, or they could get away with £100, you know. Depends on what a band wants. Um, after that, they will need to pay for a cut and the pressing and the artwork and the sleeve. So to get a seven inch record out, a thousand pressing of a seven inch record, they're gonna need roughly a thousand pounds if they're putting a certain amount of promotion behind it as well. LPs cost a bit more, you know, you're looking around 1500 mark for an LP or a 12 inch. Um, and they also need a lot of time to actually push the record. It takes a long time, especially if you're based up north. seen as weirdos in Barnsley. You're not exposed to music very much being up here. I imagine in the south, in London especially, where, I mean, everything's based there, all the record companies are there. You can easily invite people to come to your gigs and get gigs in London, because there's many hundreds of venues. But um, it does, it makes you strive on. And uh, if you're a good band, people will come out to see you. Hey! <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
when they get that much stuff in there, somebody will come in and say, have you got a second coming single? And they'll most likely not have heard of it behind the counter, so they won't stand a chance there. But uh, even, if it's just sell, even if it just sells a few, it's going to get noticed somewhere. If they, even if they send one to John Billy plays it once, at least it's getting them noticed. They've got to have a single out as well, really. They've got to put one out and take a risk. That better lads. Maybe for a few seconds. It's a raid sound. And we'll fade them out. At the moment, we're very limited, being a totally unknown band. I'm totally confident that we can produce music what some people will buy. We'll do it one more time, and then we'll put it on list. Yeah. Um, rewind it then, Bri, babe. It'd be nice if there was some kind of convenient formula that I could produce and say, oh, well, they must satisfy these criteria, or, you know, if there was a sort of template that you could put on it and say, well, you know, as long as these things are uh, filled in and so on, uh, this is what we require from the record. But it's not as easy as that, really. I mean, it, it ends... Well, it's, it's, or, or in a sense, it's perhaps easier. I mean, it's entirely uh, an immediate kind of gut reaction. You either think... I mean, as you do, you know, you're there, it's like when you see a painting or something, you think, well, I either like this painting or I don't, you know, and, and, and it's the same with the records. You either feel I want to play them on the radio or I don't. So there's no uh, underlying principle behind it, you know. But I think if, if you do do something that is of interest, people will, you know, the world will beat a path to your door, whatever it was that that chap said. <laughs>